Chase for Nintech Direct. And this is the fork stem install for the Sprinter 3500 RVs. Um, this is the kit that you'll pretty much see for most RVs because it'll be coming through shops. Um, pretty standard. Um, this is the part number in case they're interested in what they need or what you uh, want to order for them. The only difference in this kit uh, would be it has these circle grommets for the steel wheels. The aluminum ones have more of a rectangle shape. Um, inside the kit, which is pretty standard, you'll have six different um, valve stems. These straighter, smaller ones are for the two front tires. You can see it comes with grommet, a nut, and a washer. These two longer ones are for the rear inner tires. So these will stick through and that's what those spaces are for, the stabilizers. And then you have two angled ones for the outer tires in the rear. So you can access the valves, obviously. Two things of blue Loctite, which I'll show where those go later in the video. Two packages of extra grommets, which are definitely needed just in case. So I will pause the video and uh, we'll get to the install. So here you'll see me cleaning the valve stem hole in the rim. I've already removed the uh, old rubber valve stem and I'm just cleaning off the brake dust. Uh, make sure that you have a clean working area for the uh, rubber grommet you're gonna install. And you'll see that coming up in the next clip. Um, you wanna also inspect that hole, make sure there's no paint chips or a crack um, some customers have issues with them leaking, so that's an area you want to check. So here I'm installing that grommet. You want to be semi-gentle with it, and you want to make sure it sits flush, as you'll see in the next little bit. So there you go, it's flush on both sides. Um, now, off-site off -site of the camera, I'm uh, grabbing the um, Borg stem, and I'm just lubricating it very so slightly with a little bit of Dawn dish detergent. Um, tire uh, lube will work also, but you want to clean that off um, prior to installing the uh, blue Loctite. So I should be coming back, yeah, here we go right here. So you're just gonna put that in, there's a little bit of Dawn on those threads so you don't cut that, that rubber grommet. Just, uh, just work it back and forth, eventually it'll go in. You'll see I'm not being crazy with it. I'm not forcing it without lube where you would cut that, that uh, O-ring and then you, of course, would have a leak. So right now I'm using the blue Loctite, getting that ready, cleaning off the threads, um, using the blue Loctite that comes in the kit. Um, as you'll see in a few seconds, I'll show you what it looks like. Obviously you don't need to use an insane amount of Loctite. Um, these are very little threads. The nut is only torqued to 40 uh, inch pounds, so it doesn't need to be insane, just a little bit. A little dab will do you with this stuff. So here you can see that I just put a little bit of blue Loctite that was supplied from Borg. Um, it's about a fingertip worth. Um, you don't need any more than that, but you definitely want to use it. Um, and then you'll install the cup washer facing up, so when you tighten the nut, it smushes the cup washer around that uh, rubber grommet you installed and then you'll torque that um, nut to 40 inch pounds and then 40 inch pounds is the torque don't exceed that or obviously go under that um, I've seen them leak from that from being torn um, as you tighten that nut it obviously brings the metal valve stem down into the rim so here I'm just gonna double check the work obviously always gonna do that before you put it on the truck you shouldn't see any bubbles no bubbles, you can tell it's installed. So here I'm gonna be installing the uh, stabilizers for the inner tires. Um, this seems to be where everyone seems to struggle on how to get those in. Um, in the Borg instructions, they say to heat that up. Um, so I am obviously using a heat gun. You could use a blow dryer, which would do the same thing. Um, those circle ones for the steel wheels are a lot easier to install, um, but the Alcoa aluminum rectangle ones that I mentioned in the beginning of the video are much harder. 